welcome back to my channel my name is Sophia and I'm the Curly Sovister thank you for joining me so as the title suggests this is So Frugal 23 um So Frugal 23 has been going on for how many years now is this the third year and it is a challenge that is right up my street it's run by Sam and Ruan so um Sam is frugal listener and Ruan is the Yorkshire soul girl and yeah follow Yorkshire girls so <laughs> and yeah i have joined in for the last two that they did um but i'm lastminute.com all the time i am so last minute one of those people that's just last minute if something's due at 12 o'clock i'll be posting it at like 11 55 yep that's me and that'll never change probably so yeah, this challenge is right up my street it gets rid of things from my huge stash so there's no excuse for me to go out and buy new fabric um and i've right really got into looking and researching for things as well so right so let's get on with it then there are quite a few plans that i have then quite a few a little bit of a backstory i if you see my channel you'll know that i was away for the end of my maternity leave i was away for about to just under three months and while i was there i was like i desperately need some summer clothes and the saturday the the friday pattern company had released the cigarro set i think they'd released this um combo this cord set that i really like the look of but it was a trouser and a top set now i know that that's not something that i would definitely i won't wear something like that but I would wear like a skirt and top co-ord set. So I was like, you know, I thought to myself, I know, I've heard all about the, the little pomegranate Sabina skirt. So I was like, I will I could do that as a skirt. And then the top part, because I have like a little tie shirt top thing. So I, I bought the Helen's Closet Gilbert top and I cut out three... <laughs> Gilbert tops and Sabina skirts and then I did that while I was over there and then when I came back it's freezing so it's just being kept in the cupboard I've not done anything with it but now that it's starting to get warm out again I'm like ah that's something that I could make so I'll just show you them and then I'll show you the plans that I've got as well so I got this fabric from Dewsbury Market it was years ago now I think it was about three years ago that I've got this fabric and it was like four pound a metre it's this now because it's all cut up let me show you ah it's so pretty now it's like a paisley print so it's a black and white paisley print so quite versatile for me i thought because i'd be able to you know wear the top with a different bottoms i'd be able to use the wear the skirt and maybe have like a black t-shirt on and a black jumper when it's winter with boots and tights and things so i thought that'd be really ideal so i've got a top and a skirt there i think <laughs> i think so hope i've not lost these things in transit and then i may as well show you all three of them then so i pick and also this fabric as well I got this from Dewsbury Market as well. This, I think, again, was like three fifty, four pound a metre. So pretty. So, yeah, Sabina skirt. Now, I've cut three out. I hope I like the Sabina skirt, because if I don't, then I've got three that I've cut out and I've not even tried it once. So it takes making a twelve onto a whole new level there, doesn't it? And then, look at that one. I think I've got this one from... I got this from Dewsbury Market as well, yeah. How pretty is that? So, you know, I thought that they were all pretty good. To, I could dress them down and dress them up as well because they've got that flex of white. I could wear them with like white um, trainers, white supergars. I could dress it up with black heels and things because the base is black on two of them. And then the blue one's got like a speck of white in. I thought it'd be quite good to, to dress up or dress down really. And then I got to thinking for the challenge then for, for So Frugal, 
what you could do is you could use a Sabina skirt that's the free one um I'll put details of sizings of it and everything I mean I think a lot of people have mentioned the Sabina skirt so I'll just put it down at the bottom um and then I was looking for a free top then now I should have listened to my own advice and looked for that but I've ended up buying the Helen's closet at the time and then I found the Ginkgo shirt so it's by Mood Patterns Mood Fabrics I'll put it down here anyway um, and it goes from a size 0 slash 2 to 20 to 22 which is basically a bust of 32 and a half inch to 58.5 inch a waist of 24 and a half to 49 and a half inch and a hip from a 34 and a half to a 63 inch now, I, don't, I think it's quite a cropped th um, shirt, so it's not going to be going over your hips, but it's there anyway. So it's woven fabric. Um, I think there's 12 buttons of the top or snaps, whatever um, you think will be easier. I really like that combination. So you could, it's like a dupe, obviously, of the Friday Packing Company. Um, and it's so strange that when they brought the, the trouser combination, I was like, oh, I really want a skirt version. And then now they have brought out a skirt version, um, but I'd already cut them out prior to them. But yeah, I thought the Ginkgo shirt was really nice. It's got like a little tie front. And then it's really versatile as well. Instead of having a dress, you've got a, sh a top that you can wear with, with you know, your denim skirt or something. And then oh, you've got the skirt that you can wear with different tops as well. So it's really it's really versatile i thought to use um having a little cord set those are my first two and i've already cut them up so i don't know if i can put them in the challenge or not if not i've got loads of other options so while i was researching i mean you've we've all heard of mood fabrics um they're really good resource obviously that's where i got the ginkgo shirt from but then i'd never heard of so easy so 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 easy so i'll put um details of so easy so it's a lady that designs free patterns and it's like a voluntary basis how much you pay as well um so obviously she said like even a pound a dollar it goes towards um so that she can continue making free patterns but she has some really lovely patterns so the first one that i saw was it's this easy wrap dress so i'll put a photo up of it I'll put a photo up of the dress I'm looking at and it's an easy wrap dress and I love the look of it because you can use stretchy fabric so at the minute um I have a 12 month old so he's still nursing so all my dresses and outfits that I've been looking at have all been feeding friendly now I don't know if any other you know parents or mums out there that know but there's a lot geared towards maternity wear, but they're not so much about nursing wear. I don't know if it's just bypass me. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's lots of things about, you know, um, that being able to fit over your bump. And to be fair, I didn't have that problem. I wore my myostosis dresses um, while I was pregnant and then, you know, without even making any alterations and it was fine. But then the actual nursing bit, is where I've struggled with clothes. So I think I've seen Liz, the baker that sews, um, and she has, is it from the Friday Pattern Company again? It's a Westcliff dress, and she looks amazing in there. And I've been umming and ahhing about getting it or not. And then I've realised that So Easy Sew has this easy wrap dress. Fabric requirements are knit fabrics with moderate stretch that allow you to take a close fitting dress on and off. Thin, lightweight fabric will drape and swish nicer than something heavy or thick. So something more like viscose jersey rather than scuba, I reckon. Already has seam allowances as well. So sizes then, they go from a bust 32 inch to 44 plus then a waist from a 25 inch to a 37 plus and hips from a 34 inch to 46 plus so i don't know if that's the best really um it's not too bad i don't think so the features are crossover bodies optional tie belt weights waist seam with optional elastic waist pleats on the front bodice separate sleeves straight skirt as well so i really really do like the look of that and i like the fact that it's not a wrap it's just the bodice is a wrap as well um 
so i really like that because the thought of that the the top the bottom portion could open up is always a scary option fabric options that i have for that are this so i got this i think it was a it was in the sale it was definitely in the sale of course it was it was in the sale i got this from fabric um from rainbow fabrics rainbow fabrics kilburn i got this i think it was really cheap and it was a little while ago that i got this so it's just been sat in my little wardrobe waiting for it to be turned into something this is a viscose jersey so it's got a load of stretch it's got that thin um it's really thin fabric as well so i think it'd be ideal as well with that and then i also pulled out this now this again i've had this in my stash for ages and i think this was from rainbow fabrics as well so it's this it's a bit a bit more dressy is this one so it's got like these silver specks and again good stretch it's the same viscose jersey again so really good stretch like an azteki print there so they're the two options for that wrap dress i'm thinking it'll just be ideal it'd be nice for summertime as well um this one i don't think i could dress this down this one's a bit more in your face but i just thought it was really pretty so yeah let me know what you think next i saw was this perfect for work dress as well so I really like the look of this one as well and the features of it are quick and easy to sew, figure skimming fit, longer length so you pick your own skirt, skirt length, um, centre back seam to help get a nice fit, short sleeves um, and then it'll go through sizes for knit fabrics only so I think she used a ponty knit in the uh, pictures that I am showing. The fabric requirements are stretch knit fabric with moderate stretch. In my example the black and pink dress is made with a quite a firm ponty knit which gives it a smooth finish with a closer fitting um, but can feel closer fitting than an ITY knit for example. Fabrics with different weights and stretch will affect the fit. Be aware of how much stretch in your fabric as this will affect the end result. And then the uh, sizes are go from a bust 29 inch to a 41 inch, waist 25 to a 37 and hip 33 to a 45. And again, I really like the look of this one. I'd probably have it with slightly longer sleeves. Um, it is quite a close fit, but I did in the pictures, it kind of looks like it ruffles um, on the side. And I really did like the look of that little ruffle, especially because after I've had my little one, I am, it, you know, I've got the, the typical mum tum at the minute. So that little area being having a little bit of ruching, I just think is ideal. And then fabric options that I have is, now I got this scuba from Fabworks ages ago. I think it was like, they have like a fabric of the month sometimes and scuba was the fabric of the month. So I just think this would be nice because it would give it that thick, that thick stretch, which is what they've mentioned because they use ponty knit. So, I mean, I have got this scuba and I don't know how keen I am on scuba anymore because it is a synthetic fabric. Um, but yeah, this, I did like this print, really liked it. Sucker for a floral, absolute sucker for a floral. And then because it's a colour blocked option is that dress, I thought I could colour block it with black. But now that I'm looking... The black on here is not a pure black so mm, yeah i'm having second thoughts about that now that i'm looking at that yeah don't know if i would do that to be fair but there these are the only two scubas that i've got in my stash so i thought i'd share that with you as well the last pattern that i have from so so easy is this cross my heart dress so the feature i'll put a picture up of it features are quick and easy to sew figure hug figure skipping fit pleated crossover drapes from the shoulders longer length um center seam to get that nicer fit short sleeves for knit fabrics only and i really like this this little top and it kind of you know 
has it's something pretty unique i've not seen this on, on another pattern that's why i was quite intrigued with it and it's got the same sizing again so bust 29 to 41 waist 25 to 37 hips 33 to 45 and it is a close fitting dress is this the fabric requirements are stretch knit with moderate stretch so they use a ity knit and again the type of fabric that you use is going to determine how it's going to look as well so that one i just thought i would add in as well because it's not something that i've seen before so i i mean there might be patterns out there like that but personally i haven't seen anything like that and then because i've been talking about my little one i've realized that there's quite a few children's patterns out there as well um and i'm always i've always been hearing tamlin from Sewn on the Tyne talking about Brindle and Twig and I didn't realise that they have quite a few free patterns as well so I'll put a little screen share as well um, but they have got quite a few free patterns and one of them is the 99 Ringer Tee and it's so cute, it's really really cute it's like a little um, lightweight t-shirt but it's got cuffing, neckband, um, sleeves and the waistband as well and they can have a short sleeve version or a long sleeve version i'll put the ages i'll put the ages down as well um because i didn't when i printed it out it's not printed the ages so i'll i'll put that down here and i got this french terry fabric from pound fabrics i think it was last year now and it's so cool i was it last year was it the year before it was during the height of game of thrones so when i saw this it just reminded me of um like dragons and i just thought it was so pretty and i've not done anything with it and i bought it for myself i got three meters to make myself something like a little jumper dress like a nina lee south bank sweater or something but I thought my little one would look so cute in something like this. And because it's French Terry, it'd be quite nice for him. And little turnips would look really cute as well. I just think, yeah, I thought he would look adorable. So that's why I'm thinking the um, Brindle and Twig 99 Ringer Tea will look very cute in something like that. And then last but no means least, a final little matchy matchy moment for my little boy and me again when i was searching and doing my research i came across tiana's closet and they have some beautiful designs on there all free again like it's amazing that people you know give their skills and everything up to, to design these for free um and it's the amanda tie shoulder top and i'll put a picture up of it it's so cute it's really cute and i'll tell you the sizes so it goes from an inch bust 31 and a half to 47.2 waist at 23.6 <coughs> to 40.2 and a hip 34.6 to a 52 which is quite nice really amanda tie shoulder top um you can it's woven fabric the reason i really liked it is because it has used minimal fabric i love the little ties and it's just a cute little cropped top and i just thought it'd be nursing friendly as well and i could have a little matchy matchy moment with my little one so nursing friendly because you could just undo the tie and you could wear a t-shirt underneath where you've got like a cut a little slit in it or something and you could nurse really discreetly then um if you wanted to and I just really liked it because I thought I could make like a little matching romper for my little one as well. So I found this classic romper by Caroline Fair Designs, Caroline Critchfield. And I'll put the sizes over here and a picture of it as well. You know, again, another free pattern. We could both have a little tie top. I just thought it's so cute. <laughs> and the fabric that I thought I would use. Now, I got this from So Haley Jane box. Now, I haven't been subscribed to the So Haley Jane box for about over a year now. So, this is how long this has been in my stash. And when I got it, it was cute, but I, you know, had some ideas. I just knew realistically I wasn't going to be making a dress out of this. I think Liz the Baker that so, so's did and she looked amazing in hers and I think she's an early learning 
year's teacher and I think the kids would just love that but I I just knew that for personally for me I would not be making a dress out of this it's such a cute fun print though how fun is that but I could see myself making like a little top for with it and having my little baby have um, matching we could have a little matchy moment because I could you know have it with jeans and some trainers or like a, a denim skirt or something um yes yeah, so i just thought that'd be really cute actually for a little matchy moment so him in his little romper and me in the little tie top and then gosh this was such a nightmare to get out of my stash and this is why i need I need to sew some of my stash up because I've got so much in my stash. I probably won't get to use the full 2.5 meters because I'm only going to make a little top and a little romper for my little one. And because it's this kind of fruits, I thought if I have fabric left over, I could make some pajamas for my little one or, you know, something else for him. And because it's a fruit, I could make some food wraps as well. Now, I've been looking, because this is 100% cotton poplin, it'd be safe to put some wax on this. You know, I'd have to research how to do it and stuff. Cut it up nicely. And then I could wrap my sandwiches that I take to work, things like that. I could then, you know, I'm trying to be more eco-friendly in my life anyway. So I thought that'd be a really good way of using up something that I know that I probably won't use for garment garment wear or i can make like a little tote bag to go shopping with as well so because i've got so many tote bag patterns from the sewing magazines that i subscribe to so yeah got plans for the scraps for that as well and then the final one this was the one that i just saw last as i'd already printed stuff out and already done my research this just caught my eye and i was like oh my god this is beautiful and I'll put a picture up of it here. So again, it's from Tiana's Closet. And it's the Gillian, Gillian, Gillian Front Rouge Detail Dress. So it's, um, it was inspired by a design that the, that she found on Pinterest. And she said it's, especially for someone who's not very confident with their, with their tummy, which is me at the minute. As I said, I've got that mum tum going on. So the reach, rouge detail at the front is a great way to hide that which are really i've been looking at all the patterns that i've kind of tied at the front or ruched at the front so yeah that's been what i've been looking for in my day-to-day -day sewing as well i think i bought the estelle dress recently as well because it has that tie front um and i've got some plans for that as well but that's not so frugal so um and all these patterns sorry if i've not already mentioned are in A4 only, so I don't think any of them are A0, unfortunately. So it's a print on your printer and cutout job, which is very mindful, I think, personally. And what you need for this uh, Gillian front ruched detail dress is fabric of your choice, zipper, some fusible interfacing, and that's it. And the fabric that you can use for this is meant to be for woven fabric, but you could make it in a stretch fabric as well, but don't use something that's too stretchy, basically. So yeah, um, the sizing for it as well, let's have a look, is a bust 31.5 inch to 47.2, waist 23.6 to a 40.2 inch and a hip 34.6 inch to a 52 inch. And I just really like the look of that. I really, really like the look of it. I didn't, as I said, this uh, pattern I saw right towards the end when I've already put pulled my fabrics out and everything. So I don't have um, a fabric idea. I don't have a fabric in mind for that, to be fair. But I have plenty in my stash um, that I could use. So, yeah. So, yeah, that is my So Frugal ideas for So Frugal 23. You're probably sick of hearing everyone, you know, give details about it and everything. So I'll have flashed up some things right at the beginning about it as well um about so frugal but i think it's amazing for someone like me especially that has a huge mahusive stash it's great to get in there and look at oh i actually have this and i have this now i'll let you in on a secret <laughs> when i was delving in my stash to look at some fabrics for these patterns i'd seen i'll put up a picture of my 
the one side of my wardrobe that are woven fabrics uh it took me about 10 minutes to try and pull those two fabrics out because they were right at the bottom of a huge pile of fabrics i was there on my hands and knees yanking at this fabric and then everything was just you know falling on top of me and i was just like ah so yeah i need a better way of storing my fabrics because it's off-putting when it's like that and you just want to grab it and you just can't because you fear everything else falling on top of you or maybe i just need a smaller stash that would cure my issues as well wouldn't it but yeah thank you for watching and i can't wait to see what everyone posts on the is it 31st of March? I think it's the 31st of March. <laughs> I'll write down whatever date it is. I'm pretty sure it's the 31st of March. I'll probably still be sewing on the 30th of March. I hope I'll have something to post anyway. But I'm so excited to see everyone's makes. I had some great ideas last time from, from what people had sewn as well. And it's just amazing um, how many free fabrics, free patterns are out there as well. So yeah. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Bye.